Hello, so, Alice over in the Newport store, the lovely woman she is, has created a bunch of comic sets that's been sent to me in Cardiff. And a lot of them are DC, so being a DC guy, I feel like I have to kind of go into what I recommend and what my favourite ones are. So I'm going to start with Batman for this issue of uh, this little mini-series. So, first one, Batman the Knight. Now what makes this origin story so special compared to the other ones? In this one, we truly see Batman isolate himself from the world, separate himself from everything, shrivel into this, this weak man that eventually becomes Batman. And I think this is great for anyone who wants to kind of jump into Batman with a good origin story and not read the same old thing over and over again with Paris dying. It's also written by Chip Zdarsky, who's now the current writer of Batman. Now, Batman 89. So, with Keaton appearing in Flash, this is a great thing to pick up. This is Batman 89. This is Keaton's Batman story. And it basically just, it, it has the in-between of uh, what happens after the Batman. Uh, sorry, after the Batman 89. Um, and it actually shows off what the Robin would look like in that universe, which I think is pretty interesting. Now this one's a big boy. This is Batman Urban Legends. Now, most of you know this issue because it's the first issue where we find out that Tim Drake is bisexual. I love this the, this set of stories. There's like 13 issues altogether, I want to say. Um, it's basically a collection of Batman stories. Um, we see Red Hood and Batman quite a lot throughout um, these. And we have like a bunch of mini stories and yeah, they're all great stories. If you want to have a chance to read a bunch of separate Batman stories, this is your best bet.